Hey guys, Toy Tester Tom here, and today we have three more rare Monster Jam trucks. These are trucks that you can't find in the stores anymore because they're not new. They came out years ago. Sometimes I bring out ones that are almost like the original trucks, really old ones, and I'm looking all the time. These guys I got in a big set from a collector. Some of them in the set were new trucks you knew, like grave diggers and all that kind of thing. And then you got these rare ones. Now you may not have heard of all three of these. Maybe you have, but when you look it up, you get to learn a little information. But I'm gonna tell you a little bit about each truck because I think they're pretty cool. Let's take a closer look. All right, there's your close-up. Now, let's check each one out. First, we've got Illuminator. Pretty cool looking truck, eh? Orange underneath. And you get a lot of trucks from Hot Wheels because this is part of the Edge Glow series. You get all of these, and that's pretty cool. Cool colors, nice graphics, eh? All right. Now, what do we know about Illuminator? Illuminator debuted in 2011 driven by Jay Snyder. Now Illuminator replaced Jay's older truck, Screamin' Demon. We've seen that truck before. I've got him and it's pretty amazing. Now in 2014, Illuminator was sold with its last show taking place in Maryville, Tennessee. Now the truck is owned by George's Jeffrey Gottwald. Now as we said, Illuminator replaced Screamin' Demon and it competed in Monster Jam and other leagues. What's really cool is Illuminator's chassis was made orange to kind of reflect Hot Wheels Edge Glow toys. So it's pretty cool that they actually did that just to give a silent shout out to Hot Wheels. Way to go Illuminator, you're pretty awesome. Pretty cool, eh? Illuminator, awesome Monster Jam truck. Next we have Robots. Pretty amazing, eh? Now Robots, boy, looks like it's from a movie. And if you're a young kid that loves movies, animated movies, you'll know this one, Robots. Good colors, got the characters from the movie. Really neat. Well, what do we know about Robots Monster Truck? Robots is a Monster Jam Hot Wheels toy and it came out in 2005, right in time for the release of the animated movie of the same name. Now this truck was never made in real life and it's kind of a shame because it's pretty cool, eh? But you know what? I think it was used as a great promotional toy and it's an awesome example of how movie studios get involved for promotion any way they can because we know how huge Hot Wheels is with Monster Jam, of course. So it was a great way to promote the movie. So go watch the movie online. It's a great animated show and I think you'll like it if you haven't already seen it. And it inspired this awesome Monster Jam Hot Wheels toy. Way to go, robots. Awesome, eh? I like it because it's really colorful, really cool. You know what it's coming. And a blue framing, you don't see that a lot, so I like that too. That's robots. Finally, Brutus. Now look at that, Brutus. Looks like another member of the dog pound, doesn't it? Pretty cool. Good colors. Classic dog, but there's a lot more to the story. So what do we know about Brutus? Brutus is a custom dog monster truck and it's owned by Team Scream and driven by Brad Allen. Now Team Scream has four full-time monster trucks with Weapon 1, Monster Masher, Megabyte and General Tire. Pretty cool, eh? But we're talking about Brutus here. Now Brutus debuted in 2001, so that's quite a few years ago, probably before you guys were born. And it was a Chevy S10, but it wasn't a dog to begin with. The name Brutus comes from a Roman assassin. Marcus Junius Brutus. If you do your history, you know that he was involved in the assassination of Julius Caesar. Pretty crazy history. But a few years later in 2004, it changed to a 3D dog body style. And the reason for that is because a lot of the fans made comments that their dogs were named Brutus. So they changed the whole theme to match it, which I think is pretty cool. Maybe more kid friendly too. I think that's awesome. Now Brutus did a lot of competitions. 2005 got into the world finals. Same thing in 2006, and then 2007, they got into the Monster Jam game. They kept going, and finally 2013, it retired. Then the truck was shelled for a few years. Came back in 2016, though, and it's still going strong. So, way to go, Brutus. Great history. 
Pretty cool, eh? Nice looking truck. Brutus. Well, there they are. Three great rare Monster Jam trucks. Hopefully you got some of them and maybe you got all of them. But keep collecting. Look on Craigslist, look on Amazon, look wherever you have to look. Used stores, garage sales even. A lot of good kids played with the Monster Jam trucks in the old days and then they grew up and maybe mom and dad are getting rid of them at the garage sale. So go looking around, you'd be surprised what you might find. So thanks for watching guys. And we've got to thank Hot Wheels and Monster Jam for making these incredible trucks. Some were inspired by real life trucks while others were just toys made by Hot Wheels. All in all, they're great fun for us to play with. So thanks a lot to everyone involved with making these trucks, because we love it. And thanks to you guys, especially Nightmare Candy, the latest member of the Toy Tester Tom Nation. Nightmare Candy loves to comment, loves to look at all the videos, and he comments on so many of the different videos, and I love that, because it keeps the conversation going and lets me know I'm doing the right thing. So Nightmare Candy, thanks so much. Keep on keeping on. Thanks to the rest of you too, guys. You guys are awesome. And show me that I'm awesome too by subscribing, liking the video, thumbs up, post notifications, sharing, screaming from your window, whatever you have to do. Throw Monster Jams in the air with a Toy Tester of Tom flag on it. It could be anything. Just help me build this channel. Okay guys, well thanks for watching and we look forward to more great toy testing and lots more rare Monster Jam trucks on Toy Tester Tom. Talk to you soon.